Good morning. We made it to the top of Pincho Pass. Hi, Vince. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> Pincho. Good hike. And that is where we came from. Not too crazy. Down there and around the corner. Oh, we saw a, uh, what's it called? Jackrabbit? A jackrabbit. He's huge. huge. Tried to get a picture or a video and he was too fast. Anyway. I thought it was the infamous jackalope initially. <laughs> uh, we're headed down this way today and we're going to find a place to camp. See ya. Like Marjorie. This is where we ended up camping last night. It's the morning of day 10. Check out this view. And just to the right, <clears throat> there's a little creek where we got water. That's looking south. Anyway, so yesterday after Pincho Pass, that's where we camped. And then we came down and swam in Lake Marjorie. So pretty. The water's like a really pretty blue, somewhere between like a tropical and just like the multicolored blue you see in the alpine lakes up here. It's really pretty. It's cold. Um, so this morning we're going up Napa Pass, about three miles from the top. Getting an early start. It's nice and cool. And then, I don't know, we'll see where we end up. We're a few miles ahead of schedule. Which is good, so we can kind of, you know, take our time and see how far we want to go or where we want to end up camping. So we'll check in later. We're back in marmot country, like above the tree line. See that little chirp? Just this little baby marmot, I think. But it's also a chipmunk. How cute they're posed. <laughs> yesterday and then this morning. And then this is where we're going. I see you, Chipmunk. So then he was just calling to me. I wonder if he's going to be mad. I haven't seen him in like three miles. Enjoyed the solitude this morning. I wonder if he's worried. It's like being a worried dad. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, there he is. Right here. Right here. Shh. 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 Shh.
it's Teddy. I don't know if you heard him. He said, I thought I lost you. <laughs> I told you where I was gonna go. I left purposely left my thing close to the road. You saw that my bag, right? Yeah, I walked right past you. Yes. So when I like came, you were still like right by the trail. I thought you saw me. You said go up ahead. I said okay. No, I didn't say go up ahead. Yes, you did. No, I said I'm going to go up ahead and poop <laughs> and leave my bag. <laughs> That's what I said. So when I came back, you said what I heard was I'll meet you up the trail. How long have you been up here? Uh, 20 minutes. Yeah, that sounds right. So, um, so I, I, I look left and right. I, I tried to be quiet, but I, I called you. There's no answer. And so I figured, all right, she's probably over there in the tree line. So I go up there, and you're not there. Then I call you loudly, and there's no answer. So I figured, fuck, I didn't actually see your bag. Let me go back down there. So I hike back down like a tenth of a mile with the bag on. And uh, you're not there. There's nothing there. So I feel, oh, she's got to have gone up ahead. And then... The campsite was right there. And I wasn't there. I, I went back just because the trees were obscuring where your bag and stuff was. So I, I, that's why I went back, just to make sure. And then... I thought, okay, well, she got to be here. And so I started getting worried. Like, what if she had a poop? Sometimes she takes her bag in with her. You know, you don't like to leave I your bag. I always leave my poles by the trail. That's great. Always. That's good to know. Now I know that. Anyway, Remember the so, last time you lost me? I was like, well, I, I left my poles by the trail. I started questioning, Nick. Uh, I started questioning because I didn't see you, and I, I made it through the trees, and I didn't see you uphill, downhill, or anywhere. I figured, you you know, you would have stopped maybe. And then, so I actually spent, like, five minutes here, and then I spent a good 15 minutes, you know, where I could see long distances in both directions. Then I started writing my sign. A big V oh. with a little arrow above it. Hmm. There are lots of V's on the trail. <laughs> and then some of them actually have times. Okay. 816. <laughs> you know, it's like. Oh, so, I told you he'd be worried. I was hoping to see somebody to confirm your presence. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, it wasn't until I was like oh, halfway up I saw that woman. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she got the pigtails right, not the hat. Hmm. So you're a lot younger looking than 40, uh, apparently. Hmm. Um, <laughs> just oh, kidding. God. You do look it was a good morning for me, apparently not for him. Marmot. I really like these guys. I think they're super cute. We are having lunch at Lower Palisade Lake. We're just enjoying our lunch, right? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's uh, melted chocolate and some kind of cracker wafer. It's really quite good. But he's been very disappointed. You forget about all other food. <laughs> but he's been very disappointed in his food choices today. However, you can't beat the view. But I'm happy. Yeah. I think the marmot's stalking us now. I'm gonna have a cheeseburger for every goddamn spoof waffle berry that I eat.
So this is the golden staircase just below Lower Palisade Lake. It's a lot easier going down than coming up. We did about 14 miles today. We're at the junction of the middle fork of the Kings River. Some really cool waterfalls right outside my tent that I'll have to show you guys tomorrow. It was a long day. We went down for a long time down the Golden Staircase, which is just a fancy pretty name for a really, really awful <laughs> piece of mountain. I don't know if it would be better going up or down. Either way, it was pretty brutal. After that, was pretty nice, though. Got rained on a little bit, and there was some thunder, but nothing too close. It's a tiring day, but a good one, nonetheless. Um, we're ahead of our itinerary, so you know, it gives us a lot of freedom to choose where we're going to camp and how far we're going to go. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Okay. Here are the waterfalls above where we camped last night. There's two rivers that come together here. This is the middle fork of the Kings River. campsite was somewhere kind of right over there. 